Clay, thanks for coming out to the clinic and I hope you got a lot out of it. We're going to start with your underwater and the first thing I want to point out to you is when you're pulling, uh, you're not holding the water or getting any real power out of that. I think uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, you're, I think what you're doing is you're, you're pushing the water and, and down uh, and just pulling the hand back and you're not holding the water at all. Uh, you can see how the arms are going in the water and starting to pull almost immediately. So first, uh, you don't really have a real efficient glide on the stroke, and then you're starting your pull uh, in a place where your shoulders are really low. See where your shoulders are when you start your pull? Uh, you have no power at all with a low shoulder uh, when you do that. So the, one of the main reasons you do, you're doing, you're pulling too soon with the right arm is you're breathing really. See how your head is following the arm up right there? Uh, that you need to be turning your head as you're pulling and not after you pull real critical you do that. So I want you to do a lot of catch up freestyle and focus on turning your head a lot sooner. Also, the uh, your body rotation is, is late. So your timing of your stroke is off. So you have to focus on that catch up freestyle. Slow everything down, let the hands touch, let the body rotate, and then start your pull. You don't want to pull before your body rotates. You need to be pulling uh, and rotate at the same time. You can see you're pulling and rotating afterwards. All of your power is going to come from rotation. The other thing you've had to focus on, instead of just pulling that arm straight down, you've got to think about pulling the, the hand, the arm from front to back, pulling it back instead of pressing down as you go through the motion. So, heads, uh, catch up freestyle uh, and work on the timing of your breath. Really, really critical. Uh, your above water here uh, looks a little bit better. One thing I would like to see a little bit wider elbows on the recovery. Try not to uh, recover the elbow back behind you, but as you finish your stroke, let that elbow come out to the side, sort of flare it out to the side so that it's continuing to come straight back and behind you. A little bit behind you there. So that's, that's something to work on. You can do, to, to, to get that feeling, you can do straight arm recovery. So you lift your shoulder, elbow, and hand way up high and with a real straight arm recovery. And you have to adjust your recovery to keep the elbow locked all the way through the recovery into the entry. So hopefully those things will help quite a bit for you. Good luck to you.